The Education Secretary has announced new plans for schools to become mobile free zones. Gavin Williamson says he is concerned the devices are not just distracting, but also potentially damaging when overused. Staying with schools, isolation rules in England could be brought to an end in the autumn. There are worries too many children are having to quarantine because their contacts are confirmed cases, which is, has an impact on their education. The new health secretary, Sajid Javid, said he would address the issue and there's a possibility of on-site testing in secondary schools after the summer break. Well, Jeff Barton is the general secretary of the Association of School and College Leaders and he joins us uh, now. Uh, Jeff, let's first of all start with this idea about changing the rules around Five, um, isolation for kids. I mean, frankly, everyone seems to think it's a good idea. The question is, why is it already not happened or happening today? Why are we waiting until the autumn? Well, it's a, a good question. You know, 240,000 children were at home last week. That's not because they had COVID. Some, some did, but it's because the rules say that if you're a head teacher like I was, that you have to contact trace and you have to send home the bubble that that young person may have come into contact with in a secondary school, that could be 240 young people at a time. Now, what's different, I think, in response to your question in September is you're going to have had the adult population largely having been vaccinated. It would be, wouldn't it, unthinkable that you had adults going around as if it was business as usual and younger people having the disruption that they're having at the moment. And that's why I think we need a bit of clarity to make sure we understand exactly what's wanted. Are we still going to have some form of testing in schools? Are we going to have face coverings? Is there going to be some social distancing? Or is it all being swept away? And given that we're hurtling towards the summer holiday and the people I represent, school and college leaders, need to know now what they need to plan for in September, can we have some of that detail, please? Um, good morning, Jeff. I mean, do you think this is going to be music to parents' ears? I mean, it's music to my ears uh, as a parent. But what do you think the general feeling will be? Oh, I, I think, you know, there are lots of people, parents are right at the heart of this, who feel that they've heard the rhetoric from the government that young people matter. We're going to have this world-class tutoring programme and a recovery plan. None of that materialised, did it? I think they're tired of the rhetoric and they want their young people to be where they need to be in our schools and in our colleges. And I think that to know what that's going to look like in September, to know what next year's exams are going to look like, because we still don't know that. And if you're a year 11, year 13 student, frankly, that's not doing your mental health much good. We just need clarity around all of these things from a government which endlessly has looked like it's on the back foot with too many of these issues. Mm. And let's also talk about the other big talking point in education today, Jeff, the Education Secretary announcing new plans uh, for schools to become mobile free zones. What do you make of that? Well, is that the big talking point? I mean, I, I, I finished being ahead four and a half years ago. We had a policy whereby young people had to keep their mobile phones in their bags all through the day. And if we saw them, we confiscated them and we made their life difficult queuing up at the end of the day to collect them. We never saw mobile phones in schools. And frankly, most schools and most colleges will have that as well. I do think this is a cheap, gimmicky attempt to throw a bit of red meat to the back benches from a Secretary of State who's looked uh, himself on the back foot too often and is now wanting to look a bit macho around behaviour. I, I don't know quite what the issue is he's trying to solve here, but I wish he would focus on trying to bring educational recovery, trying to get resources to young people, looking after their mental health, doing more than 15 hours of tutoring for a few hundred children and actually start to show that education and our young people are at the heart of what this nation should be focusing on. So, so it's not a big talking point for you, but for many, I mean, you know, the, the, the problem here is that lots of different schools have different policies on that, don't they? On the phone well, thing. Schools so also have different policies on, on lots of things. Some schools will have a particular type of school uniform. They will expect you to have your tie done up. Some schools won't. That was the whole nature of the UK education system, that you trust in school leaders and their governors that they make the right decisions. What we haven't got is lots of young people spending their day uh, like, like the Wild West, simply on their phone all the time. I visit lots of schools. I think maybe Gavin Williamson needs to visit some more schools and colleges. This is tilting at the wrong windmill. This is really not an issue. There are lots of big issues, as we've mentioned. Why don't we have the Education Secretary focus, frankly, on education recovery? Just just very quickly, it's, it's Darren here. You know, I, I, I'm too old to really remember school phones in schools too much and I've not got kids. Just very briefly, what, what is the problem with phones in schools? They're a distraction? Uh, I mean, can they not be helpful at all? Are they just completely wrong? 
Well, you know, I'm, I'm probably older than you, Darren, and for me and for you, the phone is an incredibly useful device. And if we want young people to know how to use them in an appropriate way, Surely schools should play a part in that. Now, what we would say in most of our schools is we shouldn't see those schools, uh, those those phones during the day. But actually, in some lessons, if we say, here's a piece of homework on the board, instead of copying it out, you can take a photo of it, or you could look something up on your phone. You could legitimise the use of those mobile phones as part of learning. That would seem to me a much more grown-up, sensible way of using technology, which is helping young people to navigate their way through a complicated digital world in the future. Mm. And Jeff, just finally, uh, let's go back to what you said before, which is obviously imperative educational recovery. We've lost a, a huge amount of time for our children here, uh, a lot of education. What would you like to see uh, put into practice? How do we need to tackle this very difficult situation? Well, you'll remember the government appointed Sir Kevin Collins, very well respected recovery commissioner, who then resigned because of the pitiful response from Downing Street and the Treasury. And what he was suggesting is that irrespective of your background as a young person, you should be entitled to the kind of education that most parents would want for their child. That is, tutor access to some catch-up tutoring, access to the arts and sport after school, access some mental health support, more access for early years for disadvantaged children so they're getting the start in life, more time being taught to post-16 students in further education who get less than anywhere else in Europe. That was a plan, and it was an excellent plan, which finally was bottled by the Treasury, who my guess is would want that kind of education for their children, but didn't think it was good enough for other people's. OK, uh, Jeff Barton, the General Secretary of the Association of School and College Leaders, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, really pleased this morning. I have to say, it's not a terribly popular view with some, but if you want to increase kids' educational attainments this coming summer, given how much they've missed, kids should be in school this summer. Mm -hmm. Teachers should be in school this summer. I mean, is that your? Is that your? Yeah, opinion? I mean, well, I mean, I think if you've missed out on you know a month, two months because kids have not been in school over the winter period, why are they not mm -hmm. in school this summer? I think there's um, and there's a huge divide, isn't there? People well, thinking the same thing. Which is not being enough. Uh, well, I, I think it's 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 a big a bigger a bigger issue, sadly. And obviously, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that I think as a parent, the holidays should all be pared down, much shorter. and they should be spending because we have lost so much time. But